Hi folks, here's a quick video to show you how I balanced the waste gates of two stock turbos of a 300ZX. Um, to start with, I've got to give you a little bit of background. The uh, CHRA, or the Central Housing Rotating Assembly, of the two turbos are identical between the left and right hand side. However, the exhaust housings and the compressor housings are slightly different. Most notably on the exhaust housing, if you look here, the bell crank, I'm not sure if you can see it, is at a slightly different angle relative to the exhaust housing on the passenger side, which you're looking at here, relative to the bell crank on the driver's side, which I've located on the right here for convenience so that you can kind of see what's going on. This bell crank relative to this housing is at a slightly more oblique angle. This one is at a slightly more acute angle. Um, in addition, the wastegate actuators are at very different angles relative to the bell crank. Um, on the driver's side, it's almost uh, nowhere near perpendicular, whereas on the passenger side it is. And this results in a slightly different proportionality when you actuate the wastegates. Um, and that has an influence of the power balance from the different turbos. Um, so there's nothing that can be done about the fact that there's a difference in power balance, but what's really important here is to ensure that the wastegates activate at approximately the same time, uh, speed, and pressure. And to do that, to balance that out, uh, I've constructed a rig here where I've added pressure to the wastegates. Um, and I've uh, located the uh, driver's side right next to it. And the only way that you can actually adjust the uh, cracking point of the wastegates is by clocking the entire compressor housing, including the um, wastegate assembly, um, which kind of either adds uh, stroke or subtract, uh, subtracts stroke. Um, and that also impacts the, uh, the preload. Um, so that's kind of some complicated talk, but basically what I'm going to show you here is how I managed to balance them out. Uh, so I've got this rig constructed here where I added pressure to the wastegates, and you can see that they're opening um, at about the same time, but slightly different proportionalities as I increase the pressure here. And then as I let, let the pressure off, they close. Right now they're pretty closely matched, um, but to get them right where I, to get them to where they close at about the same time I used kind of an iterative process to find out which one was open more and to do that I put a slight leak on the compressor system and then I tapped on the waste gates themselves so I've got a little bit of a leak set up here and let's see yeah and so then I just tap on the, the left and the right hand side here and you can kind of hear when they close so for example, left, right, left, right, you can kind of hear as the wastegates close. So the left one is still a little bit open as the right one is not. So then I would take this guy back to the bench and I would re-clock the compressor housing uh, relative to where the wastegate actuator is and then try to add stroke and uh, uh, actuator preload to balance it out. So that's the process I went through. It's kind of painful and tedious, but it's a much easier thing to do while the engine's off. It would have been really helpful if there was a way to adjust the um, wastegate actuator stroke length the way they are on some of the aftermarket stuff but the stockers don't have that so the only option you have is to clock the entire compressor housing relative to the exhaust housing so that's how I've done it guys hope that's helpful to you thanks for watching bye